Hello folks, in the last video or the last page, if you're following along, you should have hopefully created a form that looks something like this. It's kind of nice, it has a drop down and all of that, but I wanted to have one little moment or two where we focus on making this form even better. So for example, if we have a look at authors, which was created automatically, you can see that our form here has well, it's got a nice card going around it, as you can see, so it's kind of this green thing going on. And it's also got placeholders here that say things like enter first name and enter last name. So I'm going to show you how to do that and maybe one or two other bits and pieces. Let's get started. Oh, here we go. So this is the create file for our books module. Now, what I'm going to do is have a sneaky little look inside authors here. Here's the one that was generated, right? And you can see, you know, we're not going to worry about validation errors right now, but I want to focus our attention on this part. And you can see that the whole thing is contained inside a div with a class of card. So let's do that right now. We can do that quite easily, right? We're just going to have a div with a class of card. There we go. So it goes something like that. We can close off here. And something like that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now what else have we got? If we have a look at the way it worked with the, the one that was automatically generated, you can see that we've got a card heading that says author details. So that should be quite easy. So it's going to be a div inside here with a class of card heading. Was it a heading? It was heading. And we're just going to say book details this time, okay? Now, none of this is compulsory. You don't have to do this. It's just a little something that might make it look kind of nice, okay? So we'll do that. Now, the next thing we've got is a card body. Let's do that, okay? So it's a div with a class of card body. I'm using Emmet, by the way, which is how I'm doing these shortcuts here. So for the card body, I'm going to copy all of this form stuff. We'll take it out here and I'm going to just paste it right in here, perhaps even with a smug little indent. Makes me feel kind of good, you know. So save that and let's now go back to books forward slash create. And you'll see now that the whole thing is inside a nice little card, which is not too bad. But stay cool, because there's something else I want to show you. Maybe you don't like the colour green, so maybe you'd like some other colour. Let's go into Config, Themes, and you'll see a part here that says Admin Theme Default Admin Green. So we're going to choose another colour just because we can. How about blue, right? So I've changed the green to blue. I'm going to save that. So that's themes.php, by the way. It's inside our config folder. I'm saving it, refreshing, and there you go. Now we've got a nice blue form. By the way, if you go to the docs and go to the part that's templates or the section that's called templates and by the way maybe the docs have changed doesn't matter there will be a section called templates and go to the bit that says about the admin template and from this page you'll see that we do in fact have a variety of colors that we can choose from so i'm going to read them out and as i read them i'll show you what they look like so we've got black blue you've already seen that Green, of course. Here's orange, purple, and red. So choose the colour that makes you feel good. So, now I want to introduce you to attributes. In fact, I want to introduce you to values and attributes. So let's have a closer look at our form here. This is for our book records. Now, if we take the book title here, I'm going to say comma and then hello. I'm going to save it. What do you think's going to happen? You know the answer. That's right. Oh, you miserable swine. <laughs> what, 
What? Hot in the name? Give me a second here. Oh, do you know what? That was the form label. Hello? That was our deliberate mistake of the day. I don't want it on the form label. I want it on the form input. Okay, here we go again. So we're going to say hello. Save it. All right. You know what's going to happen. It's saying the word hello here, right? So with this second argument, we can have a value that is going to be shown on our form. This is going to be really useful if we are updating records or if we submit records and we happen to have an error and we want to just display the stuff that they had before there was an error, okay? Now, for the moment, and only for the moment, let's have this empty here, okay? And in fact, let's do exactly the same for the text area. We'll just add it empty. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to introduce you to attributes. You see, you can pass in a third argument, and we've already seen this back at the start of this project. It's where you get an array of stuff. For example, uh, autocomplete assigned to off. Do you remember all of that? So if we save and refresh, now I'm clicking and it's not giving me those annoying autocompletes. We can also add in placeholders. Now, as you can see, by the way, I'm going right off the page here and it's a little bit miserable. So here's an alternative way of doing this. It's just an option. But what we can do is we can say, I'll say ATR, which stands for attributes. And I'm going to just say placeholder. And let's just say enter book title here. There we go. Let's have another attribute. So it's an array I'm building up. And I'm going to have auto complete. And that's going to be set to off. And now I'm going to pass in the attributes there as the third argument. It's really just an alternative syntax. I think it looks a little bit neater. If you disagree, that's okay. Do what makes you feel good. Now, if we save it, refresh, there you go. See? See? Kind of cool. Kind of cool. And we can do another one of these for the text area. So, in the case of the text area, I'm going to do... Let's see. Now, autocomplete doesn't really matter for text areas. So, in the case of the text area, I think I'll just do... Uh, this style here, where I'm just going to say it's an array and I'm going to say placeholder is assigned to now I'll just say enter a uh, description here something like that, okay? Now if you want you can add it in this style or any other style there's a few different ways of doing arrays in PHP, but that'll do me. So if we save and refresh, well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, one more thing. Let's add a cancel button in here. So I'm going to go back to the view file. And there's a few different ways that you can do this. I'm going to use what I think is the easiest method, which is I'm just going to do a link. So I'll have the link going to uh, books forward slash manage. Now, I've not built that yet, but I'm going to build it later on. And I'm just going to say cancel. Okay, so that's just an ordinary link that we're doing here. I'm going to save and refresh. And there you go. Now, if you want to turn the link into a button, you can add on some attributes here. I'll have an array. And I'm going to have a class and we're going to give it a class of button and alt, okay? So if we refresh, there you go. And just so you know what's happening, the button class turns it into a button. You see how it's a blue button? But when we add alt, it turns it into an alternative button, which in this case is this white button. So there you go. I hope you'll agree that that's looking not too bad. Well done. Now I'll see you in the next one.